Thanks, Robert. Earlier this week, the city of Wasco approved an agreement for a new city manager. Scott Herbert will be taking over as a city manager starting next month. And joining us this morning to talk about the new hire is Mayor Alex Garcia. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me and happy Pride Month. Yes, you as well. And when we were going through, when you were going through the process of looking for a new city manager, what exactly stood out about Scott? Uh, well, one of the most interesting things for Mr. Horbert uh, as the selection for the permanent city manager, the top um, concern was having somebody who can ensure a smooth transition and making sure that someone who was familiar with the political landscape as well as the, the financial and just all the, 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 the particulars of the region are um, are, that this person is aware of them and 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 recognizes the nuances of, of, of threading that needle and and we have what we feel is is the right person for that job yeah and how important was it to have a Kern County native take over in this role well uh, we've had um, both you know um, new faces and um, Kern County natives in the past um, but I think with this one uh, during these turbulent times it's it's so crucial that we have somebody who is familiar with the county um, and, like I said, all the, the ins and outs of what's happening up here in West Kern. So some people might not know exactly what a city manager does. So I guess, can you just give some context to, to the position? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a, a manager style um, government here, like a lot of small towns in Kern County do. Um, a mayor and council is only part time. We do this um, nearly uh, voluntarily. Uh, and um, what really the day to day is managed by our city managers. And the city manager is the one who's really going to respond to uh, um, some of the issues that are that come up from state agencies, federal agencies, um, of course, handling the ins and outs and happenings of our own departments, pursuing our goals and, and vision that the council puts forth for the for the city manager and, and successfully implementing that and running a pretty pretty good type machine when it comes to um, our, our our employees here at the city. What are some of the immediate challenges do you think that he potentially could face? Yeah, absolutely. So one of our top priorities right now is making sure that we see through the demolition of the former farm labor camp housing to uh, clear the space for future development. Um, we know that if we can go ahead and get in there um, after the impacts that the high speed rail um, has caused our community are mitigated, we can go in and develop that for economic development. If we were to have a district style boulevard, excuse me, district boulevard style warehousing out there, we can add and bring jobs and employers to our community uh, for the benefit of our, res of our residents. But we're really kind of um, hampered with not only that priority, many other priorities because of this $10 million cloud over our community. But I'm confident that Scott, with some fresh new eyes on the issue and a, a variety of other issues that the city is facing, we'll be able to get through it with um, some innovative ideas. Uh, so we're excited about the opportunity. And that's unfortunately all the time we have this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.